Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. You'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. For the returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. For the new subscribers, thank you so much. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell icon. In today's video, we are going to look at uh, uh, yet another country in the middle east of the Gulf, and that is Kuwait. Remember, Kuwait is also one favorite destination for security guards and cleaners and all other people in other um, jobs that, uh, that really want to make what we call a tax free money in the Gulf. Remember, when we talk about Kuwait, there's a lot of things that come in our mind or things that we definitely uh, get to tap on our, uh, our, our, our nails. Is one, Kuwait has one of the very, the most valuable um, currency in the world. So that gives us a number hand that you expect to have a higher amount of money in case you get to exchange relative to your amount to, to the money in your country. Then still also you know, we say strong labor policies also in place Kuwait uh, that really don't compromise in any way or the other. In case for example company that is not want to pay and it gets to breaches the contract signed with the M the, the employee, then definitely the government is very eager very fast to come in and, and sort it out at the end of it all. Then still also something that we need to admire or something that we not say say good uh, for reasons of working in Kuwait is that uh, there is most of the inhabitants are expatriates and you definitely find the means of language is English which quite becomes very easy in terms of what you call sharing and understanding one another and uh, still also it uh, Kuwait as a country respects or Kuwait as a uh, country respects what you call the labor, uh, the labor laws and like when we look at days off and vacations the really strict condition or strict laws regarding day offs and, uh, and, and, and vacation and you find that a person in a way roughly works at what you call 48 hours but in today's video we want to look at the top five security companies in Kuwait because one asked me about companies in Kuwait and I, 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 I was so uh, I was so pushed to, to, to look at a number of the top five security companies in Kuwait such that we can try to share out and get to know one or the other one we shall start from number five number five is amako amako is a security company group in kuwait specialized in provision of integrated security and what you call related services to commerce industry it was established in 2004 with the biggest gathering of different nationality that amako takes up in position number four and when you also look at what you call salary payment i think amako is also good in salary payment as by the research that is conducted. In position number four, five, in number five, we look at uh, Al Raid, Al Raid Security. This was established in 1985, where the group is managed by a group of specialized administrators with previous experiences in the army and police. What does it mean that it is uh, strictly, it is definitely gives that kind of services that a client client who need at one or the other. That's why you find that most of their location or most of their sites are found in what you call important sites in Kuwait like the ministries, uh, institutions and what you call government offices. Meaning that most of the uh, uh, contracts are found in, are found in what you call those higher institutions which give them a higher value at the end of it all. Uh, uh, all giving them in position number four. In position number three or number three, we have the ARMA security services, which is uh, uh, which is dealing with providing what called specialized services in all key areas, protecting a wide range of businesses and organizations in both government and private sectors, using what we call the latest programs and technology in security, and have what we call experience security guards. Hope that one is also it. It makes them, uh, it makes them in number three. And another, th another thing, uh, as per the research, is that Hama has also a very good salary that is being offered, uh, including day off and vacations that are being given to the employer. You know, such kind of small, small things, especially small benefits, 
uh, so much try to motivate the workers to push up and uh, uh, work so hard tirelessly to for the company or for the company to achieve its maximum targets at the end of it all. Then we look at in position number two. Number, number uh, position is two is Malafi. Uh, Malafi. It was established in 1993, and Malafi uh, in Kuwait commercial company has emerged as one of the years to become a leading provider of wide range of support services for its diverse clients in Kuwait. The company is centered on its capacity to build high quality and professional security guards and security performance. And remember, uh, Malafi also provides very good services like valet parking and other services that it includes, includes what you call cash transit, uh, which all in all it has given it a number hand that uh, it has been pushed in what you call position number two as per the rating and per the research carried out, uh, making it one also the most one of um, the top five, getting in the top five list of um, uh, security companies in Kuwait. In now position number one, uh, rather than ever to take to talk, is uh, what you call G4S. Remember, G4S security company is in position number one as one of the top five security uh, companies in Kuwait. And uh, G4S is a worldwide security company all over the world, I think. Yeah, it has over uh, more than uh, what you call uh, branches all over the world. And you find that that Gear Force, uh, Gear Force is being the largest security company in the Middle East with the knowledge of the global security trends, with the deep understanding of, of, of customer unique uh, needs and enable heritage with more than 100 years in security industry, which definitely gives it an upper hand at the end of it all and it comes to rank in position number one uh, to be one of uh, um, uh, position number one in uh, security companies in Kuwait and also its salary relatively for the GIFOS salary is also very good the accommodation and other benefits as with the, the research that is being carried out so you find that uh, for example when you get to look at the salary in Kuwait under the GIFOS you find that uh, for the latest information the latest research is that for someone who is working uh, for someone that is working for 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 28 days, he gets a salary of 135KD, which is approximately 445 US dollars as per salary at the end of the month. And if you definitely work overtime and you work for 30 days, you will definitely get 150KD, which is unequal for 30 days, which is an equivalent of 494 US dollars, which is not quite not a bad figure, it's quite very good. Uh, so giving it that upper position. Hope I'm trying to share something and hope you're trying to show. So definitely if you're planning to have security or if you're planning to go for a security job in those country, in that country which is going, definitely you know where to start, you know which company is good and where you are going home, where which company that you're supposed to go. Remember, I still remind people that as you are going for the VC visa, for example, you're going for VC visa and you want to look for a security job in some of these countries that accept VC visas to come, definitely. For your own information, don't start looking at the big companies. Start with a small company, uh, start looking at it because they normally have those vacancies and they can look at you far fast compared to the bigger companies that have what you call a larger sum of requirements, uh, strict requirements that you need to fulfill for you to have that career. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for watching videos on this channel. By the way, if you feel the video is very important or very helpful, give that thumbs up. It is the only way that I'll be motivated to make more videos. For the new subscribers, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, share, comment in the comment section. Is I'll be more than happy to get back to you. And you'll be feel free to let me know what you want me to talk about in the comment section. See you again. It's next from the next creation.